up? Welcome to the Artist Spotlight here at Country Stampede 2012, day three, with our first Kansas boy on the show, Jared Neiman. How you doing, sir? Doing great. Good to see you. Good to have you on. You are uh, no stranger to Kansas whatsoever and no stranger to the Stampede. Two years in a row, fifth time on, you just told me. Uh, what are we going to change or what are we going to do differently for uh, the crew this year? Well, we have uh, added a horn section to our band. Nice. And uh, we did the whole brand new record with horns. Uh, it's a new album called Free the Music. It comes out October 2nd. And uh, the reason I added horns to the record is I'm such a huge country music fan that I love it clear back to the 20s. And long <laughs> before the steel guitar, the pedal steel guitar was invented, you know, for 20 to 25 years, there was horns in country music. So yeah. just thought it'd be cool to revisit some of those old textures. That would be cool. But uh, is that taking a risk to you? Like, uh, you don't see a lot of people do that. The risk is what got us into this. Risk <laughs> will get us out. <laughs> Uh, what do you uh, what do you like playing? This is a softball question for you, but what do you like playing about in Kansas? What maybe some memories it brings back or anything that you, you feel a stronger support here? Yeah, you know, just anytime you can go home, you always feel good. And 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 I I not only I played here this is my fifth year, but I came to the first six that they had <laughs> starting when I was 16, and uh, so I've done some really stupid stuff. <laughs> Woke it up in the campgrounds, clothed and in my birthday suit. I've uh, <laughs> experimented with all sort of things. I basically, I kind of, I guess I kind of became a man at this festival. I saw a new thing today. I saw Jenga Redneck Edition. They took two by fours. I don't know if you've seen this. No. They cut them down to about this size. You know the game Jenga where you knock the blocks out? Well, they got blocks this big of two by fours and they stack them up. And then they got to poke out the, uh, <laughs> See, a country folk ain't smart, then what is that? <laughs> and I, I saw a fishing pole. They were casting out beads, the girls too, you know. See a lot of good, a lot of good folks in this state. They're living. Not, they're living. They're not. They're not scared to get crazy. Uh, anybody you, uh, anybody you uh, enjoy seeing play yourself live these days? You know, I just got off tour with Miranda Lambert. We were on tour with her for six months, and I just got to say, I mean, she every night nailed it. Just great. Yeah. You know, she's just uh, a class act. She's nice. awesome. What uh, what do you think is going to resonate? It's the big festival, four days. They see a lot of acts, these people that come for all four days, they hear a lot of country music. When they leave, what is going to make them remember you and where are you, where, why are you going to stand out? They're going to say, I can't believe that guy has had that much to drink and can still play. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it didn't have to, you don't, you're not promising all the right lyrics though. No, 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 no. But I am going to do a song that I wrote that I hope I don't mess up. Yeah. A song I wrote about Kansas called Yellow Brick Road. You know, because you, you hear about, <laughs> tell you stay from Kansas, it's instant. Oh, you know, Wizard, Wizard of Oz, Oz, Wizard of Oz. So I thought, I took the trauma about 20 years of hearing that. Yeah. And uh, I mixed it with the thought of if, if I were to die, and hopefully they let me in through the pearly gates, they have the streets of gold, which are sort of like a yellow brick road. So yeah. I just hope that if I do get into heaven one day that... Uh, It'll be like my childhood in Kansas. I'm sure God will be watching out for you. But you make a, you make a good point that everywhere I, I'm from Kansas and everywhere you go, it's always the Wizard of Oz. What what do you think Kansas should be known for? You know, I kind of like that it's a secret weapon. See, being from Kansas, you're right in the smack dab of the heartland, obviously. So I've learned being able to travel this amazing country, especially the Continental 48. I can say right. this that we have influences from all different areas from you know every every corner and so when i go somewhere i can find a relate a relative yeah. thing to for instance you'll hear many people in one sentence here today say i'm fixing to go get a pop <laughs> fixing is a southern term pops more of a northern term and you'll hear them in the same sentence it's just right smack in the dab and we don't know that until you leave that it's like that but it's just a great place because we do get all the uh the wonderful ingredients that makes this country great so i, I kind of like that that a Kansas is sort of off the beaten path, and people people even in Nashville ask me if we have electricity. <laughs> We're like, nope, no electricity, still covered wagons. And so that's what I love about it. Jerry, thanks for coming on the show. Well, thank we you appreciate for it. Me. We're looking forward to seeing your live set. We know Kansas is going to go crazy for you. And uh, we'll see you take yeah. the stage coming up next live from our spotlight, Cutting Stampede 2012. Ain't scared to pop a top with me. Real women drink beer and get country crazy. So sip your red wine or any turpentine, but that won't go around here. Real women drink beer. Ain't that right, Kansas? Other kinds. 
of liquid pollution in the mines. It's like a mental institution. So I find my solution is blonde, dark, and red. Next to a friend, have some two for one fun. You'll see real women drink beer. It becomes a crazy and in a moment rear. It's just right to me. So sip your red wine or any turn of time. It's just right to me. 